Do you hear that? Sounds like alarm bells going off in both Green Bay and Tampa Bay. Nearly halfway into the 2022 season, both the Packers and Buccaneers, two of the NFC's supposed powerhouses, each helmed by a future Hall of Fame quarterback, are flatlining. Heading into week eight, both teams have a losing record, neither team has a positive point differential, and football fans are starting to wonder whether their respective engines, Aaron Rodgers and Tom Brady, might be washed. So are they? And consequently, are the Packers and Bucks doomed? Let's take a look. Sit back, relax, and take this in. Coming into the season, the Packers and Bucks weren't simply contenders. They were legitimate Super Bowl favorites. Rodgers, after all, won his second straight and fourth career MVP award last year at the age of 38, and the Packers were so assured of his continuing greatness that they handed him a three-year contract extension worth more than $150 million in March. Even without star wide receiver Devontae Adams, the Packers seemed like a lock to waltz into the postseason and vie for a Super Bowl with Rodgers running the show. Meanwhile, the Bucks look set themselves with the GOAT back in the saddle following his hilariously brief foray into retirement. I retired two months ago. Right, right. Not only was Brady coming off a jaw-dropping season in which, at the age of 44, he led the NFL in passing yards and passing touchdowns and nearly propelled Tampa Bay into the NFC Championship game single-handedly, but the Bucks were also bringing back virtually their entire defense, which finished top five in the league in 2021. Well, fast forward a few months, and both teams are in disarray, if not at complete rock bottom. At 3-4, and four, the Packers have already matched their loss total from last year, and they're currently in the midst of their first three-game losing streak since 2018. They've lost to some pretty mediocre teams, too, including, most recently, the Washington Commanders and their backup QB, Taylor Heineke, and the really disconcerting part is that it's their offense, ostensibly their biggest strength, that's been letting them down. Through seven games, the Packers' defense has been fine. Better than fine, actually, sitting eighth in the NFL in yards allowed per game and 14th in points allowed per game. That's pretty much on par with what they did last year, when the Packers finished 13-4. and four. The problem, though, is that Green Bay's offense hasn't been close to as prolific as it was in 2021, or as it generally has been throughout Rodgers' tenure. By both points and yards per game, the Packers had a top 10 offense in 2021. This year, however, they're not even in the top 20 in the NFL in points per game. And the Bucks season has followed a similar script. Despite having an even cushier schedule than the Packers to date, the Bucks are also 3-4 and four, and fresh off a humiliating loss against a lowly opponent, and it's largely because of their struggles on offense. After all, the Bucks' defense is once again among the top five stingiest in the NFL in terms of points allowed per game. Their abysmal showing against the seemingly tanking Carolina Panthers in Week 7 notwithstanding. But even with so many big names on offense, from Brady to Mike Evans to Leonard Fournette, Tampa Bay ranks 26 in the NFL in points per game, a struggle epitomized with their three-point effort against Carolina. That's it? That's it. As bleak as things look though, it's probably premature to say that Rodgers and Brady are washed and that their teams are necessarily cooked. Has Rodgers' play fallen off? No question about it. But just because he's not performing at an MVP level doesn't mean he's bad. In fact, he has the eighth best passer rating in the NFL, he's tied for six in passing touchdowns, and he has a completion rate above his career mark. And that's despite having no particularly gifted wideouts now that Adams is out of the picture. Not only is Rodgers' most prolific pass catcher in 2022 a tight end who's played less than half of Green Bay's offensive snaps, but the Packers' receiving core is also tied for the third most drops in the NFL. At the moment, there just isn't much chemistry between Rodgers and his receivers, and Green Bay's lack of a viable deep threat has been glaring thus far. Still, in this writer's opinion, it's not hard to envision Green Bay's fortunes reversing if they can add an impact wideout via trade. Maybe someone like DJ Moore or Chase Claypool. Someone who can actually allow Rodgers, Green Bay's best playmaker, to cook. A sous chef, if you will. As for Brady, whose season has been marred by off-field domestic drama, he's certainly not performing at the level we're accustomed to, but it's not like he's having a lousy season. In fact, according to Pro Football Focus, Brady has been the sixth best passer in the NFL this season. 
Meanwhile, he's sixth in the league in passing yards, and he's thrown just one interception in seven games. Frankly, had Evans not committed one of the most egregious drops you'll ever see early in Tampa Bay's Week 7 loss, we probably wouldn't even be talking about Brady and the Bucks. Brady fires downfield, and the pass is bobbled and dropped by Mike Evans. And while it is fair to wonder just how locked in Brady is, it's unfair to say he's the problem. Tampa Bay's issues are their abysmal running game, which is averaging the fewest rushing yards per game in the NFL, and their offensive line, which has been inconsistent this year amid considerable turnover and a barrage of injuries. Ultimately though, if you ask me, it'd be foolish to write off the Bucks, not only because they have literally Tom Brady at QB, but because they play in a lousy division and they don't have nearly as many areas of weakness as do the Packers. Having said that, it is troubling that Brady, with all that talent around him, has a losing record this late into the season. The last time Brady had a sub-500 record seven weeks into the season? 2002. 20 years, holy God. By the same token, it's disconcerting how uninspired Rodgers has looked for much of the year, how unable he's been to muster any second-half magic, even against inferior teams. After all, one of the things that distinguished Brady and Rodgers for so long was their ability to win under any circumstances, no matter who comprised their supporting cast or who they were up against. Are those days finally over? Maybe. We'll have to wait and see. By simply having this conversation though, it feels like we've entered a new era in NFL history that a proverbial changing of the guard at the quarterback position is already underway. For decades, Rodgers and Brady were inevitable. They were the best of the best, and their presence in the postseason was a given. Finally, however, that no longer seems to be the case. And while it's too early to write off their 2022 seasons, it's not unreasonable to think that their best days are behind them. But what say you? Do Rodgers Packers or Brady's Bucks still have a chance at the Super Bowl? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. As always, we appreciate you. We'll see you next time.